four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranch in here, bring on Sack of Commentary. This is going to be the second set, Group D of the Round 32 of the Nate MSL. We're going to have July facing off against Stats on match point. We're going to have Stats as the beige Protoss at the lower left-hand position, 7 o'clock. Facing off against July Zerg. Yeah. July Zerg. Yeah. At the upper right-hand position as the color that I haven't seen yet. Because they tend to flash between players. Yeah, it's the teal zerk, the upper right hand position. Now, July historically is a player that dominates Protoss. Historically, he has always been a fantastic versus Protoss player. His ZVZ, uh, you know, kind of meh. His ZVT, not really that good. His worst matchup, but his ZVP has always been his saving grace no matter what. Always been just his bread and butter I guess you could say if something needed to be done if, if a CVP needed to be won send out July he'll take care of it for you and he's gonna have an inter it's gonna be an interesting matchup here against stats stats a fairly fairly promising player for KT right now uh, has doesn't even have 50 games under his belt has a winning ratio in every single one of his matchups in TVT where he has an equal ratio seven wins and seven losses I believe so that's fairly, fairly, fairly promising there. Uh, Overpool coming in from July Zerg. This is a two-player map, so Overpool is fairly, fairly... Uh, I'm sorry. Like swallowing a lot there. Fairly safe build on this map. Two-player map is going to be able to help him prevent any sort of cheese from coming up. Is going to force two cannons to be put down by stats, although he should manage to go forge Nexus two cannons if he gets the timings right. If he gets the timings just right. July Jerk is going to send out, although this is a two player map. So, okay, Nexus first. X actually should be safe enough, should give enough time to defend himself, although he could be suiciding himself for this. I'm not quite sure or not. Forge coming up right now. There's the 12, well, 12 hatch, not 12 hatch. That hatchery is coming up, but the Zergans are going to be on the way. It all comes down to how many Zergans July Jerk is going to go for. If he goes for those six, he might actually be able to do a lot of damage, especially if he runs right for that position. Forge coming up just now. Just now, the scout coming out as well. So stats putting up that 12 Nexus very just blindly and extremely confidently. Forge going to come up right now. He needs his two cannons. This very thing, he needs to put them both down right now. July Zerk actually, whoa, July Zerk sending out a... Another drone, he's going to put out his third right away. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the, use those Zergans to only four of them. Going to use those to pick off that probe. At the very least, we're going to see if the static sh stacks manages to delay this. Going to put down two cannons, also going to use that probe to block inside. But Overworld is going to spot the position. We're going to see what Joe Isaac is going to run. Okay, that is six, six Zergans now going to be able to run inside. We're going to see whether they manage to run past those cannons or not. Cannons are warping in just now. One cannon is going to be coming in right now. Like right now on the second cannon, just a little bit behind. We're gonna see what the actually manages. Don't show the signs, show the action. Gate will be put up to and the probes block it in. I think that's yeah, that's gonna be solid enough. July is not even gonna try to break that. Meanwhile, just gonna be freely allowed to put down his low right hand position. And I'm not quite sure whether stats spotted the drone that was going down there. So stats playing risky, but uh, actually managing to come out ahead with risky play. Stats is gonna be able to get a probe inside of July's base spot out everything but July is apparently just gonna go for a good old standard three base ZVP get a bunch of hydras up and <laughs> when it comes to hydra breaks July Zerk oh man that guy knows how to break a front that guy knows how to break a can Protoss cannon front high Templar bah. <laughs> dodge out of the way what else he got cannons bah. where are your cannons now couple after a couple of hydra spits oh a probe wall Dude, probes don't do crap against Hydras. And then your front's gone, and July Zerg's inside of your natural expansion, killing your Nexus. I mean your natural, killing your Nexus. That sounds like some sort of weird motivational poster. Okay, still July Zerg trying to pick off that freaking probe. Probe being very irritating, just getting the full scout. Where not quite up yet. Drone, a couple of drones be pulled off the line to go for that natural. Off, go all the way down for that third. Still not sure. Yeah, go, to, go for that natural expansion. Still not sure if stats knows about the location, is going to move the prone probe downwards. There are some more two drones moving down towards this location. A target on the opposite side coming in for stats. Stats, not quite sure whether he spotted the third. Now, didn't go downward with the third. But if he spotted the drones going there, he might already know what's coming on. 
And also the fact that he's not spotting a third hatchery and he's not spotting any tech or lair pretty much allows him to assume that July has put down a third. Because if he was going for two base build, he most likely would have had tech already coming in. Already would have had tech coming in as well as a lair on the way. Siddle of a dune on the opposite side coming in for stats. So he could be going for DTs here. Most likely going to go for DTs. I haven't seen DTs used on this map. And... Looking at the positioning of it, it could be fairly def uh, effective if the match actually penetrate right inside the base and do some decent amount of damage. Finally, the probe scout been killed by July Zerk as he adds in that fourth hatchery. So he's going to go for a three base, five hatch Hydra build as he just gets his drone count up. Also, first Corsair is on the way, so he's going to be able to get a scout out. Meanwhile, three uh, zealots on the front alongside the second gateway. Coming down the natural expansion, putting in a gateway at the natural just so we can have a quick resupply route just to enforce that wall. Jorgen's <laughs> checking out the front, not going to be able to break anything. Only two cannons so far. I assume he's going to try to get the full scout. Going to make sure that the third is 100% there. There is a, also that third hatchery coming in there. Going to spot that. Just going to fly upstairs. Uh, still going to go outside, probably pick off an overlord. And yeah, Joel actually putting out a semi wall at his own natural expansion. That was a hydrant and I believe an Evo chamber. Of course, I mean, we're just flying around. Still not spotting the overlord to kill. And Sp uh, Spire is up, so I assume some Scourge are going to be out fairly soon. Um, not I'm going to see what the stats actually manages to kill that inside. the upside, we're going to see those Zealots out, just trying to force those Zorgans down the ramp. And actually going to try to hold a ramp out of the next expansion. Second Corsair now out, so the Overlord definitely going to fall victim to these Corsairs. But uh, with Scourge coming on, coming very, very soon, I'm not quite sure if that's going to be... Anything more than that. Cannon coming out inside the main, alongside Temple Archive, so it looks like it is going to be a T... Possibly a DT build. I'm not actually quite sure because they're all very zealot heavy. Six zealots actually go ahead and go for a push. Uh, July Zerg. Okay, that was not an Evo Chamber. That was a, just a hatcher using a Hydra. And there is a sunken colony being put down there, but he needs a little bit more. He's going to need some Zerglings. Speed, z speed just not ready for the zealots. Those six zealots are going to go right inside. Sunken, only one second sunken colony. Those some Hydras then. We're going to see if the zealots are actually going to be able to penetrate or not. There is, oh man, July Zerg is going to have to hold this off with just a few Hydras and Zerglings in one single sunken colony. The zealots are going to be able to get inside.